Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Maxwell's first ever Idiot International Championship GT Touring B. My name is Maxwell. And I'm Justin. Today, we're going to be racing in Italy on the Autodromo Nazionale Monza track. It's got 11 furious turns, three chicanes, it's about 5.8 kilometers, and we got eight laps of that. I can't wait to see our rookie drivers. Speaking of which, Here's the starting grid. In first, we've got number one, Glidex Snow, followed by number 15, Officer Not a Cop. Then it's number 70, Peppa Bling. In fourth, we've got 93, Pi. In fifth, number seven, Prince of Persia. I've got high hopes for him. Then it's number 90, I'm Paul. In seventh, we got number 29, Ryan. Now following him is number 52, Guardian 452. And number 77, Dinkeldorf, number 28, McKizzy, and 11th and 12th, we have number 88, The Real Freeman, and number 17, Firewire. I can't wait to see our drivers tear up this course. Anyway, here are the teams. We got the Bipolar Express, Demolition Sandwich, Doc and Donuts, Speedy Spoops, the Mono Brothers, and the Telechubbies. None of them have any points because this is the first race, but I can't wait to see the standings after. Now, some have had way more practice and some have had next to none so we'll see how that goes oh here we go they're starting Ooh. and they're off they're off almost a penalty there for paul as we get a little bit of an early start look at this prince of persia quickly taking spots and now he's in the second wow something strange has happened in the oh, background yeah, i with, saw that just out of the corner of my eye with peppa bling has lost her lead and and now all the way in last place in 12th a very clean corner for all of our drivers. Let's he really wants that lead. You know, let's look at the replay for Peppa Bling's strange lead loss. It looks like we got her sitting there in the corner and then, whoa, oh. hood flips over and lands back down to the earth. Looks like going to the moon there. Must be a real difficult thing to Difficult take. situation. And look at this, a lead change for Prince of Persia and Gladex Snow Locks it's up bomb. tires and flips over. Officer Nauticop has rammed Glidex Snow onto his roof, drifts, and gets T-boned by Officer Nauticop. Yeah, what? You hate to see this kind of thing happen What a here. brutal way to start brutal. a race. Good word. From first all the way to ninth. To ninth? Wow. And I'm getting word that the safety car is going to go and help him out. We just had 28 there. I think that's about McKizzy there flying off into no man's land. And oh no. Is that Dinkeldorf? Dinkeldorf crashing into the side because he lost control after the corner. Mm. And look at this. I'm Paul quickly gaining spots. Wow, just look at that speed. Overtook two people, I think. He just overtook Dinkeldorf after his crash. Yeah, and he's in the BMW, so he, he's going to have that extra speed. He will have that speed bonus. And a clean oh not so clean Ooh, dinkeldorf almost. crashes into the back of i'm paul that's wow giving i'm paul a bit of a speed boost look how fast <laughs> he's going peppa bling trying to take that to position there and takes it and gets around the last chicane with ease from last place to ninth now as we see mm. all of our drivers come down this straight away this is where he's still going. Yeah, this is where the faster cars are really going to excel mm -hmm. in this straightaway because the Fords just can't keep <laughs> up. They're pretty slow. Speaking of Fords, there's Pi going into the pit. He's going to take his first pit right away. An early pit for early Pi. pit. Very strange, but interesting technique. And here comes Glidex Snow on I'm Paul's tail. And Paul's got the wider corner. Gladix knows got the slower one. I'm Paul goes way in front of him, way faster. But here's where Gladix Snow has the advantage with the straighter part of the course and the faster car. He can get around I'm Paul just like this with the inside corner and overtakes I'm Paul with ease. And look how fast he's going. Yeah, he's zooming up there. He's coming up behind his teammate, Ryan. And uh, Ryan looks like he's coming a little hot. And he's breaking a little too late there, and he's bumping over the curb. But that's okay. Oh, a little, little oh, man. bit of a bump by Glidex. No, a little bit teeny. of a love tap, maybe. Or maybe, maybe so. there's a bit of rivalry. Yeah. We just got word that Guardian 452 has spun out and crashed on the straightaway. 
So he's taking his pit right now. All right. And look at this. Gladix now passes his teammate, Ryan. And over here we have Pi. He's in ninth place, coming up around to uh, the real Freeman. And I think the real Freeman's having some issues Smooth up ahead here. Chicane. There he is. And passes him into eighth. Maybe it was because real Freeman was bit in the dirt. Yeah. But Pi's happy. Happy guy indeed. Someone spun out there. Now here comes, I believe that's Liar Wire. Yes. Yep. A nice fast corner, but a bit of a mess up at the end. 11th here we have Peppa Bling. Fast corner, ooh. but ooh. Takes it way too hard. Lands into no man's land. And recovers quite respectably. Here's our one of our favorite teams. Demolition Sandwich coming up behind Pi. Well, it's just less than a second away, it seems, from Pi. A little bit of a messy corner from Dinkledorf, but the real Freeman is taking it smooth. Here they come on the straightaway, but once again, the Fords have a major disadvantage on this straightaway. Those BMWs and Mercedes, especially Mercedes, will have a great time on this part of the map. Here they come to the big wide corner. Lots of speed. Very clean turn. And over here we have Liar Wire. Followed by Peppa Bling in 11th. Liar Wire in 10th. Bit more than three seconds between them. Here comes Pi right behind McKizzy, hoping to overtake her. Trying to get that fifth place that McKizzy's holding. A clean. It looks like Pi's got the faster acceleration out of the first chicane. It looks like he's got it with the inside corner, meaning he can turn faster. And he takes it. Pi's now in fifth. And fresh out of the pits, here's Guardian 452 going around corner three. Oh, ooh. oh mm, not oh. not good. Ooh. Oh, that'll that's not going to be good for Guardian. Oh. He's already lost so much time. Oh, oh no. Oh, and of course, oh. Dinkeldorf hitting him there. Sucks, sucks. 88 with a clean turn. Overtaking McKizzy, who's out in the field there. Out in the gravel, no man's land. Yeah. And another clean turn by 88. That must really suck to be McKizzy. From 5th to 7th, losing places. Here's Liar Wire coming around the second chicane. With good speed. And right behind Liar Wire, we got Dinkledorf with a nice fast turn touching the apex following a great driving line Dingledorf is trying to it seems like he's trying to get past him here oh and a little too tight on the inside corner and Dingledorf has got a lot of speed on him going <laughs> way, way out. out there still two wheels still okay and that just like that takes ninth and now we're gonna go to Prince of Persia all the way in first with a 35, 36 second lead into chicane number two, turns four and five, locking up the tires a little bit. But a very fast chicane too. A great maneuver through there. Probably the fastest you should be going through a chicane. Look okay, at how I'm fast like he this. takes this turn. Oh no. Maybe a little too fast. Way too fast, right in a no man's land. But uh, seems like he kind of gets back to the track quickly. But he's lost about a few seconds there, maybe like, maybe like five or seven seconds. It's a big loss. Got the real Freeman coming in. He's just behind Pi there, as you see. Uh, he looks like he's coming up quite aggressively. I think he wants to take that position. We go around that turn there quite well. Getting that speed with the BMW. That Ford's gonna have some troubles, and oh, a little bit of a bump from behind. 
little bit of a fender bender. An early break and a late break causes catastrophe. That is correct. And there's Dinkeldorf, still with a messed up bumper. Dinkeldorf. He hasn't lost much speed. Dinkeldorf being that. followed by Officer Nauticop in the Mercedes. That Mercedes is going to overtake him. Of course. You can already see Mercedes, it even, even on the, the wide, big wide corner. <laughs> wide turn. Wow. Still. Oh, but there it is. There it is. He's waiting for it. His bumpers are not doing too well either. Dinkledorf <laughs> goes, goes right, right through. through the chicane All right. and bumps the front of Officer Nauticop, spinning him out. Oh, goodness. Quickly recovering, is, uh, but that has got to be some sort of... Oh, oh it looks like Lyrewire has just disappeared from existence. Oh, he's That's retired from this race, I guess, yeah. And out of the last and final chicane... Gladix Snow is following I'm Paul. Now here's what we mean about the speed of the Mercedes versus literally every car in this race. This one spot is just too overpowered for these cars. Mercedes just has such speed. Quite a bling in ninth, apparently. Oh, and passes Prince of Persia, meaning she has just de-lapped herself. Mm. Very impressive as a, well, I'm assuming she's quite down there. Oh no, and Prince of Persia is way out. Falls out again into no man's land. Here comes Officer Nauticop on Team Speedy Spoops. Short behind is Dinkledorf. Dinkledorf is on Team Demolition Sandwich. Cruising by. Coming down the final straightaway. And Officer Nauticop is now in lap five. In seventh place, but hoping to quickly catch up. He's now getting the blue flag. Guardian 452 is getting the blue flag for Officer Nauticop, but Officer Nauticop has got a very slow exit and entrance. I don't think that matters for him. He's still gaining speed on Guardian there. Even though he's going so wide, the Mercedes is so powerful, it can just pass anything. <laughs> it's just passing everyone. Now we, we might see these two Mercedes just the, being the best cars. Yeah, if you're in a Ford or BMW, you are definitely yeah, goodbye. the underdog. Goodbye. <laughs> Here comes. Uh, Real Freeman just Real Freeman. spins out. That's too it. Too fast into the too corner. Too fast. He might wait for these drivers to get by. It's a yellow flag now. Quickly, quickly followed by the entire team. Oh, we already got around. The Telechubbies. But he's already on his way to the straightaway. But here comes Glidex Snow just, with the Mercedes. Just gaining speed. Oh, Prince is going in the pit now. I think this is his first pit all race. Yeah. Being in first and pitting is not something that you want to do because everybody else is going to catch up on your tail. And here comes the real Freeman, followed by Glidex Snow, wanting to pass him in the pit. Now you can just kind of see Prince there, still chilling out. He's got some engine issues, uh, and he's going to be there for a while. The real Freeman takes second, and Glidex Snow takes third. Glidex Snow with the more powerful car hoping to overtake the real Freeman. I'm not quite sure if the real Freeman has pitted yet, but he might need to. Glidex Snow coming around to the third turn there. Real Freeman right in front. Have I mentioned that Glidex Snow's Mercedes is more powerful it's than the way BMW. too powerful. It's interesting how it was even allowed to be in this race. And look at this. Look at how much space he had taken second place. And here's Dinkeldorf and Peppa Bling. 
Looks like Peppa Blink's trying to get around to the eighth place. Let's see how successful that is. Oh, just gets it. Oh, no. Just bumps into the dirt from Dinkeldorf. But I think, oh, wow. She still takes eighth place. That's insane. Amazing. And here is Ryan, closely behind. I'm Paul, followed by Officer Nauticop, and he's going for the wide corner, trying to overtake, but no, I'm Paul. Stays in front. He holds his defenses. Officer Nauticop with the scary Mercedes in the back. Paul's not letting loose here. But no, they're all still in the same position, but it looks like Officer Nauticop is going to pass Ryan. Yes, he does. Wow. A little bit of a change there. And look at this. They're going for the wide corner while I'm Paul takes the inside corner, trying to defend his position and manages Kinda to do works. it, but does that not is. have the speed on the exit of the corner. A little bit of contact there, but it Ooh. is all right. Yeah, they all recovered pretty, pretty quickly. And just like that, I'm Paul just lost two positions. Here comes Pi, going around the chicane quite smoothly. Quite? <laughs> quite smoothly. Very nice, yes. Going around turn three, and here's Glidex Snow right behind him doing chicane. A little rocky. One. Turns one and two. A little bit of rock. Yeah, a little rocky. But uh, you got to remember, the Mercedes is the more powerful car. So Pi must be sweating with only, well, actually, he's got quite a bit of a gap, 10 seconds, but Glidex Snow is... That's not going to matter much soon. He's catching up. Now at nine seconds behind. Chicane number two. Cleanly goes around. It locks the tires up a little bit out of the exit, but manages to straighten it out. 93 is doing everything that he can to stay in the first place position. Here we have Paul, just behind uh, Ryan over there. And Paul looks like he's trying to really get up there, really take that position back. Don't know if it's gonna be possible. He's a few he, seconds behind. He wants fourth. But yeah, as you said. Mm. Looks like he's only one second behind. Look at that, that was a fast, ooh. Just bumps over that sausage curb. Here's Guardian 452. He's looking a little beat up. Not doing so well. He's but he's all the way in the limit. Is Ooh, no. Insult to injury. Here's the real Freeman. Oh, and a bump. <laughs> oh, what a terrible match for Guardian Goodness. 452. Just getting bullied throughout. Oh, oh. <laughs> and <laughs> ran cars over here. By the real Freeman. Oh, that sucks. I gotta say, the demolition sandwich, their name. <laughs> They're living exactly. up to their name. They're, they're living up to they're their They're living name. up to it, yeah. <laughs> and we'll see if Guardian can get his position back there. I don't know what's going to happen. His car's a little, still, still a little beat up. Officer not a cop and Ryan closely behind him. Going wide on the last corner. But it appears it looks, to be super slow. Yeah, it looks like Officer Nautikov is slowing down. He might be going into the pit here. He's going into the pit, and the Ryan passes him, giving Ryan third place. And because that, I'm Paul is probably going to get fourth place. Great news for them. And oh no, number 70 goes very wide. Didn't spin out though. That's chicane. quite impressive. Peppa Blaine. Quite impressive. Ooh, very close to exiting the track there. Using the full track to his ability, he's pulling out everything he can on the final lap. He is pumping he gas. He is on lap eight, more than halfway complete, with Glidex Snow on his tail. With only five second gap between them. He must be sweating bullets. Or as we like to say in the racing community, sweating tires. We say that. It's true. Apparently. 
doing it as cleanly as possible, thinking about every little move. But here comes the straightaway. Looks like Lennox knows right behind him with that too. He's straight away with the Mercedes is not a good sign for Pi. It's only three seconds behind. And now only two seconds behind. Glidex Snow really wants the win. But Pi is defending. Glidex Snow looked like he went a little too slow on that turn there. That's going to cost him. On the last straightaway, here comes Pi. Pi's definitely going to get two seconds away from each other. Two second gap, and Pi there takes the win. On the first Idiot International Championship race. Glidex Snow finishes second there. And we got, uh, well, Ryan and Paul. I guess he was also there, but I believe she's lapped. So, here come I the mean. twins on opposite teams, both of the red Fords. Coming down the straightaway. It's cinematic. Lovely cars, though. Beautiful cars, indeed. Although they are separated by a lap. It looks like they're given their full potential looks, here regardless. Yeah, they, they look I like mean, they're neck and neck. 28 out in front. But oh, 29 pushing up. catching up. 29 is getting the inside mm, and photo. just passes mm. 28 at the finish. Here comes I'm Paul. And there's a fourth place finish for I'm Paul. Here's Freedom. No one doesn't look like anyone's behind him uh, for a little bit. So Freeman's going to finish fifth here for sure. And coming up. There it is. Beautiful. And here comes Peppa Bling. Down the final straightaway. Finishing in sixth. And here's Officer Not a Cop. Finishing in seventh. And just like that, thus concludes the first ever race in Maxwell's Idiot International Championship. Thanks for watching the first out of five races. This has been an interesting one. Lots of crashes, lots of moments, lots of overtakes, lots of lead changes. And next week, what are we doing there next week? Next week is the Imola in Italy. It's our same racers, but a very different track. And look at this terrible crash caused by Dinkeldorf ramming Guardian 452 off the track. Right as he leaves the pit too. It sucks. It sucks. Anyway, over to our podium, we got Pi in first place. He's getting 25 points for Bipolar Express. Glidex Snow on the Telechubbies, he's going to get 18 points. And Ryan, also on the Telechubbies, is also going to get 15 points. So that, that boosts their team up quite a bit. And for our team standings, the Bipolar Express and the Telechubbies are tied with first with 33 points each. And we'll see you at the Amola.